Client results and service delivery are the number one factors if your SMMA clients are gonna continue paying you on a monthly ongoing basis, or if they're gonna cancel, charge back, and ask for a refund. So what I wanted to do in this video today is do something that none of the online gurus have done, and I'm actually gonna go through and show you guys step-by-step -step the seven easiest services to fulfill for your SMMA clients even if you're a total beginner, you have no marketing experience, no previous tech skills, and I actually am taking my exact content from my paid course to show you guys exactly how to set everything up step by step. And the thing I love about each one of these services is it only takes about five to 10 minutes to set each and every one of them up, but they continue to deliver value on a monthly ongoing basis so your clients are seeing results and so your clients will want to continue to pay you. And because these simple services are leveraging software, automations, and tools, it means there is no human error involved. So you can't even mess it up. And on top of that, it doesn't matter if you're a total beginner, you can still make this happen. So enough of that, let's dive into my actual course to go through and show you guys step-by-step -step how to get everything set up and deliver amazing results for clients. And before we get into the content, I'm gonna have timestamps down in the description as well as my free course, be able to go through and help you guys get started with your own SMMA, get clients, fulfill for clients, and scale that business. Now, with that said, let's jump into the service delivery. Welcome to the fulfillment section of how we are actually going to fulfill for our clients when we sign someone up. And we've got all these different features and the core pricing plans, but there's some things that I want to kind of just like um, get out there before we dive into the, all of the different features that you can go through and offer. Because I have in these different plans, some of the core features like reviews, messaging, web chat, automist call, text back, CRM, and I'll show you how to set all these things up. But the truth is, is um, high level, all they are is basically a massive team of developers. So they are releasing new features constantly. And so the, the, the videos in this module will probably continue to grow as new features are released. And I find features that I think that are simple and easy to go through and replicate and get uh, results for a wide variety of clients. Now, here's the deal. Although there's all of these different features and all these other things over here, you do not want to get into feature creep. So feature creep is a term in the software development world where you think that you just need this next feature in order to make the sale. Well, oh man, okay, now we got that feature. Oh man, but like we need this other one and, and we need this other feature. And so honestly, all these core features right here are plenty enough to go through and actually close a deal and make a sale. And I like to focus on features that are one, very simple to set up, Two, can, you can systematize. And three, um, they're gonna work on an ongoing basis. And then let's say four, pretty much for whatever industry, right? So like online reviews, that's true. Messaging, streamline, unified inbox, web chat, automist call, text back, CRM. All these are gonna be true for whatever industry you work with. Very simple to set up and then have ongoing value that will make your customers wanna continue to pay you on a monthly ongoing basis. So keep that in mind because I know some people will be like, well, Jason, I wanna be able to offer like sales funnels and websites and all these different things. But the thing is, is like when you get into offering websites and sales funnels, that is when you get into kind of like some custom build outs, right? Where it's like you can get templates, but then there's additional work on the setup, which is totally fine. You can go through and do that. But a lot of the the systems and the features that we like to focus on, like miss call text back, takes two minutes to set up and then it's ongoing and like it's done forever, right? Um, let's see, the unified inbox, web chat widget, all these things, just like a one-time setup. So we will get into some of these other ones like the Facebook ads, AI video, some of these other things that also you can streamline and, and they can be simple but also add tremendous value. But I just wanted to kind of give a brief overview that um, high levels always releasing new features, but don't get into feature creep and don't think, oh man, I gotta, I gotta offer everything inside of the high level system to actually go through and find results and help out my clients. Because honestly, a lot of times simpler is better. And it's, it, when, when you try to go through and offer too many features, a lot of times it causes confusion in the mind of your client. It causes overwhelm and then they get confused. They don't really know what they're signing up for. They don't really know the deliverable. And so then they're like, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I don't think this is going to be the right fit for me. Right now, one other document I'm going to add right below this video. This is hot for, this is from high level. I asked them to actually give this to me. And so they, they hooked me up with this and this is whenever they bring on 
a new agency owner onto high level. So like someone like you, right, going through and starting your own agency, whether it's like the SaaS mode or whatever it is, there are a few key features that they have found if you go through and implement these features for your clients, the stick rate, or basically how long they stay on and keep paying you on a monthly basis, goes up significantly, all right? So what you can do is you can go basically tailor these onboarding call scripts to your company. Obviously, you could swap in, swap in and out the logo, um, but I'm just giving you guys like the core thing because like right here, they like include SMS, like getting a local phone number, missed call text back, mobile app, get them set up with a um, Google My Business profile chat. These are like core things that they do for every business owner and they try to show the importance to a new agency owner signing up so that they then can resell these simple features because they're the ones that are proven to be the most sticky, right? So these are um, these are the actual call scripts. So it's, you know, say they jump on a call, one of the account reps, uh, hey, welcome to Go High Level. We're so excited to have you on board. At High Level, we're created an all-in-one marketing platform. So basically, as you're going through and reading this, you just gotta think, like you can go and switch out the welcome to, whatever this is, that just switching your, your company name, right? Welcome to chat, welcome to lead system or whatever it is. So excited to have you on board. At lead system, we're, we're creating all an all-in-one marketing platform. So just tweak that and then we've got all of these. It's um, so like win number one, they show them how to use text messaging, right? Win number two, miss call text back, right? Uh, mobile app and then Facebook and Instagram connection. Google My Business Profile Chat, Reputation Management, which is online reviews, just another name for that. Um, FAQ Auto Replies. And so basically you can see, and then they've got some blog posts on like high level or basically your brand versus some of the competitors out there, right? So if like you needed to use those help docs, you can easily have those in place as well. So um, then beginning of call two, these are some other additional ones, Web Chat Widget, Linktree, Fast Five Automation, some of these different things. So. Um, anyway, but like the, the core is this first bit um, in call number one and then what I'm going to be doing over the next several videos and I try to keep them as short and condensed as possible of like just like the core things of what you need to know. I show you how to set up reviews. I show you how to set up the unified inbox and get messaging all streamlined, web chat widget, auto miss call, text back, the CRM. And the nice thing is some of these things, it's already set up. It's just like you just basically give access to your clients. That's all you have to do, right? And download the mobile app, all those different things. So uh, we're gonna be going through all this over the next couple of videos. So if uh, the goal is by the end of this uh, section of the fulfillment section, you don't have any questions on these core features that you're gonna be delivering. Now, truth is, there are like hundreds of different features as you can see all these different features. We are not gonna hit every single feature. I, I promise you that we're not gonna hit every feature and there's also gonna be additional features that they continue to add. Like surveys, I guarantee you we're not gonna hit surveys because um, that's a very custom custom type of client and, and we're not looking at custom types of clients. We're looking at like cookie cutter, systematized, streamlined, leverage. I love all of those words, okay? So that's what we're gonna be working with and we'll be covering all those things over the next several videos. So if you do have any other questions specifically on specific features, the best place to go for that is reaching out to high level support directly. And the reason why I say that, it's not to like just have an out of like, hey, don't reach out to me or my support team. My support team can help you, but the high level support team, they are the best because they are on top of all the brand new features that are being released um, every day and every week, right? So like they're just always releasing new features, which is amazing. So that's a huge benefit for you because you're, I mean, as of the latest I know, they're not planning on raising the, the SASMO plan price at all. It's just like 497, you get all these new features that they release that you can then go resell to clients. That's a huge win, right? So anyway, um, enough on all that. What we're gonna do is just then dive into these features. I'll show you guys step-by-step step how to set them all up. I'll talk about the use case of the benefits of why you'd wanna go through and set them up for your own business as well as for your clients' businesses and we will take it from there. So with that said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Hey, real quick, if you want my 100% free course on how to go through and start your own digital marketing agency, how to get clients, how to fulfill for clients, all of my website templates, my proven sales funnel templates, all my scripts, then there is a link down below in the description as well as in the top comment. It's gonna allow you to get an extended 30-day free trial to the high-level software. 
Plus, unlock all of my courses and bonuses, everything for free, plus weekly live coaching with myself. You can jump on Zoom, ask me any question that you want, all right? So just click down on the link in the description in the top comment or go to launchmysoftware.com. It's gonna take you into the same place. Now, with that said, back to the video. Okay, so in this video, what we're gonna do is cover how to automate or manually send review requests. Now, I get this all the time because I, I have this feature shown on a lot of my YouTube videos and people are like, oh great, you're just spamming people with fake reviews. And just to get this clear, we're not sending fake review requests or we're not asking just random people to leave random reviews. We are, let's say you're working with a dentist and somebody just showed up to an appointment that day, have a teeth cleaning, a root canal, teeth whitening, or what, whatever the procedures are. Then after they show up, maybe like an hour after, we're gonna send them a review request so they can leave a um, five-star review, right? That's the idea, okay? And so it's it's only real clients. It, same thing works if you're a real estate agent, past clients that you've worked with, um, dentist, chiropractor, really doesn't matter, the small local business. And so what we're gonna do first is we wanna come over here to Launchpad. And this, guys, once again, these the same thing is gonna hold true for setting this up for your business as well as your clients' businesses, okay? And this video is probably gonna be the most in-depth um, of all of the, the different feature setups. The reason why is because there's some, um, there's some manual ways to do this and there's some automated ways to do this. And so I wanna show you a little bit of both. And so first of all, the main, the main review platform we wanna focus on is Google. So Google, getting five-star reviews on Google, that is kinda like the number one. However, if you're working with like a real estate agent and they want to get more reviews on Zillow or Trulia or maybe even Facebook right here or um, if it's more reviews on an Amazon product or Yelp or whatever the platform is that they want to boost the reviews on, this works for whatever platform. But I want to show you just a use case of Google um, because that's kind of the big one and then I'll show you guys where to tweak the links if you want to tweak the links. So first things first, what you'll do is you'll come into your client's account and you want them to connect their Google My Business listing. So um, it's already connected here just for the sake of time. I wanted to have it already connected. But before this, it'll say just connect, just like that button right there. They connect, it shows a green check mark. Okay. So once that happens, what you want to do is so you can see this reputation spot. This is where they're going to be able to manage all of the um, reviews, uh, review requests, everything. Um, see stats, everything that's going on. But what we're going to do is come down here to settings. And then we're gonna click on reputation management. So reputation management is another way of saying online reviews, okay? And so because we have Google My Business already connected, if we click generate link right here, this automatically generates the review link that's gonna be sent to our past clients to be able to go through and leave a review. And ideally you wanna be able to, you know, have your clients servicing them super well, so they have a great experience and leave a five-star review. That's obviously the idea, right? Now, if you wanted to go through and get more reviews on Facebook or Trulia, Zillow, Yelp, whatever, Amazon, whatever the platform is, this is where you would throw that review link. So you just have to go through just because this is automatically gonna pull the Google link. You would just have to go find that link and go paste it in right there and click save and then you're good to go, all right? Now, moving down here, you'll be able to see some different things that you can customize the review requests you want via SMS, if you wanna add an image. I won't necessarily add an image, I think that doesn't really help out. Um, or the email request, you can go through and kind of uh, customize this and you can just see what this looks like here. Just a little example. And then this is one for your actual website or your client's website. They can throw that on there to see all the great reviews, okay? Now come back up here, in order to manually send a review request, there's a few ways to do it. So one, you can click on here, send a review request, put in the person's um, name, phone number, email address, and which way do you wanna actually send the review request, okay? So that's one way to do it. Or from the main um, dashboard right here, we can click on this. This is like a quick actions tab. It's kinda hidden up here, but then they can come over here and click send a review request. So the same thing pops up, okay? Or another way is coming over here and clicking on reputation, which then they're able to also send a review request. So this is like the same manual process of going through and making this happen, okay? And then you can see, like you can see how many um, invites were sent for reviews, the average rating, 
the sentiment. Like you can see there's a lot of different information right here. And then you're able to actually go through and see the latest reviews. You can see the review requests that have been sent and the reviews and be able to actually like reply and respond to these reviews. And you can see there's like a, I've got a demo Facebook page connected and there's all these little um, 4X spammers that are trying to, to leave reviews on my page to get, um, get some um, exposure here. Um, so, but anyway, ideally, you'll want to respond or you want to have your business, the business owner you're working with respond and be able to reply to all these, comp all these reviews. So that it shows like, okay, this business is engaged, right? Cause then somebody going through and looking at reviews, if the business owner, whether they're good or bad is replying, it's just, it's, it's really just best practice. Okay. And so that's how you go through and manage all these reviews, set them up and get this all going. But I also wanted to show you one last way because a lot of times people are like, oh, well, that's cool. But like then like you got to manually send out the review requests and going back, I want to just show you again. You can have it follow a custom schedule for review requests. So like you could go through and have it continually follow up if they don't originally leave a review, right? But another cool way is we can go in and we can set up an automation, right? And so this is something that you can set up for your own business or you can set up for a client's business. But this is not this is not like a requirement, but it is a nice way if you get the stuff all set up and streamlined um, to automate the review requests. So you can come up here to create workflow. And so basically what a workflow is, is um, it, it's an automation that happens. It's basically like if this happens, if this trigger happens, if a new lead comes in or if someone comes in the office or there's a new customer or whatever it is, we are going to, you can say like wait a certain amount of time or we're gonna send an email, send a text or we're gonna do this other action, right? And so there's some right here, it's like recipe appointment, confirmation, reminder, survey, plus review request. I'm just gonna show you how to set this up. So this is the send review request. Let's, let's just check this one out here and then I can show you how to set up from scratch too if we need to. So. These are the triggers up here. So a tag is added if you want to add a certain tag. Um, opportunity mark is one. So that's like in the pipeline section, which I'll show you that here in a second. Or the appointment marked as showed up. They showed up to the appointment, right? And then you send a review request via SMS. Okay, send that. And then wait 60 minutes, send a review request via email. Okay, so that's how that's all going. So basically opportunity marked is one. Um, this is over here in this opportunities and pipelines. So as you're like going through and um, you have these different pipelines right here, this is just a demo account. So this this is like, let's say you went through, you had a new lead, booking confirmed, services sold. Maybe once it's like moved into the services sold, the review request is automatically sent out, okay? So coming back over here, we can go through and say, okay, instead of these, I don't necessarily want these but I'm gonna just delete these really quick, okay. Delete these really quick. So add new workflow trigger. So maybe, um, let's see, coming down here, let's say, like, let's say maybe it was an order form submission, okay? Maybe they, they bought some specific product. Well, they bought some specific product, maybe we wanna wait like three days and then have them leave a review. Okay, so we're gonna wait three days and then send out a text, say, you know, how was your experience type of thing. But um, basically what I'm trying to show you is there's a lot of different ways here to go through and have a trigger to go and create this automated review experience, okay, of going through and, and sending um, the text message or the email follow-up. You could say, okay, if they're buying some like type of course or product, then that's gonna be the trigger that then sends them to the next step. It could be a tag is added. It could be they showed up to an appointment. So there's a lot of different ways we could set this up. And I'm not giving a specific use case, mainly because everyone's gonna be working with different types of clients. And so the use case is gonna be a little bit different, yet this flow is kind of the same. So maybe we don't wait three days. We're gonna delete that right there. But we're gonna send this review request. So if you're starting from scratch, to find the send review request right here, all you would do is just come over here, click on this, and then type in at the top, we'll say send review request right here, and then review type email, or review type SMS. 
And then how we set up the review settings just a minute ago, it'll send out the text with that specific review link with the exact um, te like text message copy that we have in there, all right? So then we would just hit save, and obviously we're not gonna do that because it would be a duplicate, but we just wanna hit save and publish, and then it would be good to go on complete autopilot. Okay, so basically that's not 100% necessary, but that's kind of like going the extra mile as far as this review automation setup. But at its core, you wanna go through and connect Google, um, your Google My Business account or your client's Google My Business account. So then it like pulls in the um, review link and then come over here to reputation management, click generate link or throw in whatever link they wanna go get reviews on. And then make sure that the um, text messages or the emails are sent out the way they want. And even just to test this out, you could put in your name and you could put in your phone number and email address and just like hit send review request. And then where you'll see this is in this conversations tab. So it'll pop up right here. And so you'll be able to see the text or the email that's sent out to make sure that the text or email looks good and it's, it's the way you want to get it all set up. And then once again, this is another place that you can go through and have yourself or your clients respond to these review requests, okay? And then also, if it's like a bogus review, it's something that's like, it's not legit real, um, this is also where you can go through and actually dispute the review to basically say, hey, look, this is not a legit real review. Um, we wanna fight this and basically say it's not real. So anyway, guys, I, like if you, if you go through all the other videos, all the other features in this module, this is by far the longest, most in-depth, I promise you. But there's a lot of things in this review automation um, system is honestly one of the most important features that you know a lot of people look at how many five star reviews or how many reviews total businesses have before they even want to go through and work with them. Then also it's a huge factor that Google looks at um, as far as ranking in the Google search engine. So this is absolutely crucial. So I want to make sure that I was covering all this in depth step by step for you guys. Um, if you guys have any other further questions on this, don't hesitate to reach out in the community section or our support team. But always when it comes to tech though too, if you have any specific questions on how the tech is working, Go High Level Support is always the best resource because if there's any changes or updates or anything like that, they are right there on top of it. And so their support team is gonna be the number one best solution when it comes to a feature set of the Go High Level software. But anyway, with that said, um, hopefully that was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so this next feature is something super cool. It's called Auto Miss Call Text Back. Basically, if you look at this, if we go over to Google and we type in something like plumber near me and you need to go through and work with the plumber. So you scroll down, find the plumbers, you call um, Admiral Plumbing, they don't answer, so you call Parley's Plumbing, then K-Tech Plumbing, until somebody picks up. So statistics show that 62% of calls to local business owners go unanswered. So basically what we're able to do is if somebody calls this phone number for Admiral Plumbing, which they're actually paying to be in this spot right here, um, instead of like them not answering and just going to the next one, um, we're able to send a follow-up text just automatically to save the deal and be able to close more business. So I hope you can see the value here where um, if you're able to go through and 62% of calls go unanswered, obviously that's going to vary depending on the business. But let's say you save half of those and they're able to get that many more, th that much more deals um, because you have this automist call text back in place and be able to save that deal and start a text conversation. That's extremely valuable, right? And then the cool thing is, is with the conversation AI, once the text um, is sent out to the customer, hey, sorry, missed your call. And I'll show you guys how to set this all up here in just a second. Um, sorry, Mr. Call, how can we help you? And then they respond back. Conversation AI can actually handle a lot of this conversation until the plumber, the electrician, the real estate agent, whoever it is, can get to that conversation and work things out, right? So basically all we gotta do is just another test dump, um, demo account, right? Um, is we're gonna come down here to settings. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that there is a phone number associated. So this is a demo account, so there's no phone number, but we wanna make sure that there's a, a local phone number already added because it's going, like this auto miss call text back is only gonna be triggered when um, you have one of these phone numbers because that's how all the automations work, right? And so once you have a local phone number and you connect Google, that will be the new phone number right here. And so if somebody asks like, why, like, why can't I show my actual phone number? Well, the cool thing is, is you can actually do 
um, once you get a phone number here, which I'm not gonna do just because it's a demo account, you can add a forwarding phone number. So if somebody's calling, it forwards into that person's actual cell phone so they're not having multiple numbers. But the nice thing about this is it is allow, allows to like have all this automation take place. So from here, what we do is once we have this local phone number, which you probably should already have set up um, from previous videos, but we have, we go over here to the business profile and we scroll down to the bottom right. And all you do is just check on enable missed call text back. And so then you can go through and uh, test this or not test this, but you can tweak this, customize it. So it says, hi, this is location name. I saw that we just missed your call. How can I help? So if you want to just like not rely on it saying location name, because that's like the name of the account up here, you say, hi, this is, you know, so-and-so. I saw that we missed your call. How can I help? You say like, you know, Jason from whatever the business is. And so you can just go through and make sure that that is work, um, that, that works good. Send a test out. And guys, that's the thing I love about a lot of these features I'm showing you guys is... This takes, like it's literally get the local phone number, which you probably already have for your business and that local business, enable missed call text back, make sure this says exactly what you want to say, have it say, and then hit save missed call text settings, and you're, you're good to go, that's it. And then from here on out, every single time that somebody calls and um, miss the phone number, the text automatically gets sent out, okay? So this is super powerful, it takes about like two minutes to set up, but the value it brings is absolutely, um, you know, it's critical being able to follow up with all these different um, people that are reaching out to the business owner. And it's it's minimal work on your end, but massive value to the business owner. So anyway, go ahead, go sit, get that set up for yourself as well as for your clients. And uh, they'll be extremely happy with just this one simple basic feature right here. So uh, with that said, go get that knocked out and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so this simple feature is called the web chat widget. It's this little thing down here, um, which is super easy to go through and add to your website as well as your client's websites. And it also helps boost the number of conversions of people visiting your website into actual leads and real sales conversations. So if someone's like scanning your website and like, hmm, this is interesting. I have a question though. Then come over here, click this little web chat widget, and I'll show you guys how to customize this here in a second. Put in their name, phone number, message, ask the question, and then this will go in and, and we can have like conversation AI, which I'll show you guys here in a second, be able to and have AI automatically respond to that person that is reaching out to our business. Or if it's a, like a business owner, they're on the go, we've got them set up with a mobile app, they can text back and forth with this business owner. Or if the potential client, this um, in inquiring of some more information from the business, they send a message out here because the phone number is right here, they don't have to be on their computer to have the back and forth um, communication. So they can be off like going to the grocery store, whatever it is, and you can still have that connection with that um, potential client, which is super powerful. So the way we're gonna set this up once again, another super easy setup that uh, is going to continue to provide value. So if you come over here um, on Launchpad, you can either connect right here, and this is one way to do it. It's going to take you through a little workflow of like, hey, what's your website, all that stuff. But I want to show you another way that I actually prefer and like a little bit better. So we're going to come over here to Sites, and then we're going to go over here to this Chat Widget. And then you can say, you know, enable chat bubble. And this is where you can customize it, right? So it says, hi there, hi there, have a question, text us here, right? So you can throw that, you can customize that how you want. Edit the image, so you can want an image of yourself or someone else right there. And then enable custom greetings, welcome back. And then it can have like that person's name, how can we help you today, if it's a returning visitor, right? And then this widget window, you can change out the colors. And then something that's super cool, is you could put in your business name or um, I, I actually I would prefer you, you you'd want your business name because this is powered by your business and then it can hyperlink out to your actual business, right? So you could change out, um, have a question, intro message, if you wanna add an email as well, uh, legal message, all that good stuff. And then um, you could just see how all of this um, happens. So like once they go through and submit a question, then it says, you know, thank you, one of our representatives will contact you shortly however you want to go through and um, set that up. So this is where you go through and customize it. And then if somebody's using a site like Wix, WordPress, something else that's other than um, high level, totally fine. But all you have to do is just grab this code right here 
and you just copy this code and you put it into the body or the footer section of the website. And whether you're using Wix, WordPress, or whatever website at Builder that's out there, um, there's a ton of them, so I can't name all of them. Uh, if, if you don't know how to go through and, and put that in, or if your client doesn't know how to go through and put that in, you just message the support of whatever, wherever the website's being hosted, and they'll be able to easily direct you because every one of these businesses has an easy way to go through and put in the body in the footer section, put this code in. Um, or if you're using, like if you have, if you're using or your client is using um, high level, we can go over here to websites, and then for example, this little homepage right here we can click on settings, and then you could just enable the chat widget right here. It's just literally just toggle on and off. So super easy after you've gone through and customized it the way you want, and then just hit save, or on funnels, let's say you want one on one of the funnels, you just once again, same thing, and we're here to settings, toggle on or off, and that would be um, the use case for your business as well as any of your clients' businesses, right? Um, so that's a very simple way to go through and set up. Uh, one of the core offerings w that we have on the your standard website with the price and all that stuff is we don't offer websites. The main reason why we don't offer at websites or I don't typically offer websites is because mostly everyone already has a website, so it's not really a differentiator. But obviously, you can go through and add and be able to offer websites. There's tons of um, templates in this template li library depending on who you're working with to get a beautiful website set up, ready to go um, as soon as possible, and then just simply add the chat widget to that website. But since most people already have the website, just come over here, grab the code, copy the code, and, and paste it in the body or footer section, and it'll automatically show up, and then that's it. It's a one-time setup, you're done, you're good to go. Um, so anyway, that's it on the web chat widget. If you have any questions, just post them in the community. And uh, with that said, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, so this feature is called the Unified Inbox, okay? And right here, it's, it's just the Conversations tab. And so let me explain the value of this and how powerful it is for your business or for your clients' businesses and then how simple it is to set up as well because this is just a couple of clicks to set this up. So let's say you run a business, which you know, you're know you running a business right now, or you've got, you're have got you working with a dentist, a real estate agent, whoever it is, and they've got their Facebook business page, they've got an Instagram account, they've got a Google business listing, they've got their emails, they've got their phone number that you can call. So people, they're depending on the platform that they prefer, they're reaching out via Facebook, they're reaching out via Instagram, they're reaching out via text or phone calls, or they're emailing into the business. And so instead of the business or you as a business owner having to check your Facebook messages, your Instagram messages, your texts, your phone calls, your voicemails, your emails, all in different places, we're able to streamline all of this into this one conversations tab. And the cool thing is even on top of that is when someone leaves like a five-star review, we'll be able to respond to that five-star review from within the conversations tab as well. So it's all streamlined in with, um, so like one client, one customer, all their communication, no matter what platform, it's all in this one unified inbox. Um, so I hope you can see the the time it saves. And then also, not, the t not only the time it saves, but like when I'm selling this, I'm talking about the missed opportunity costs, right? Because if somebody's reaching out via Facebook message, even if it's just one person a month, and let's say the average deal size for someone is like a thousand dollars to say, just like for an easy math. Well, if they're missing one message because they're not checking their Facebook page messages um, every single month or frequently enough, and they miss out on that one deal, that's a thousand dollars just that one deal, right? Now imagine if they're like, okay, they've got their Facebook page and Instagram, but then they're not checking either one of them, and they're missing out one deal per month on each of those. That's two thousand dollars, right? So, I mean, right there, like quickly you can see and paint the picture of the value of this um, tool um, where it's not only like, hey, save you time, you don't have to like go through and run around with your head cut off, but also like if you're not seeing all these messages, you're missing out on real potential closed deals that could bring in real money to your business. So what we're going to do for the setup is come over here to Launchpad and, you know, best practices is basically like connect and get all this stuff set up. Um, in which we probably already talked about a little bit, but um, what we wanna do is we wanna go through and we wanna connect their Google My Business account right here. Now, um, it usually doesn't pop up on desktop, but let's say plumbers, 
near me, right? So coming down here on the Google My Business listing, I don't know why it does that sometime. I literally just popped this up and it just showed. Um, let's do maybe uh, electricians near me. One second, we'll do just looking for some Google business listing. Okay, so like right here. So like right here, you see how it says website and directions. This is on desktop. On mobile, typically it's gonna have a chat button, okay? So you can go through and chat and reach out with the, the person. And so that's where if you connect Google My Business, that pulling in that chat. Um, Facebook, you'll be able to pull that in. We've already got a local phone number. So if you got a local phone number, it's gonna pull in all the texts and phone calls coming in from that. Um, then also the emails that are coming in. And then additionally, what you wanna do is come down here to settings. And then we go over to integrations right here. And then you wanna be able to connect um, right here. Once you've connected your Facebook, you can also connect the Instagram account that is associated with it, okay? And so that way, if, if someone's messaging out on any one of these platforms, it's all gonna be going into this one unified inbox. Now, this is a huge time saver for you, your business. Um, if you've got a support rep going through and responding to all the client communication, it's gonna be in one spot. And then also for any of your clients, right? And this, once again, a lot of these features to go through and, and leverage, you need to connect Google My Business, you need to connect Facebook and Instagram. And so since they're already connected, it's already like all dialed in with this unified inbox. So pretty easy to go through, set up, it's a one-time thing, and then they're able to see the value and experience the value on an ongoing basis. And this is where missed call text back, all the conversation AI, all that stuff is gonna be funneled into this one conversations tab, which is basically this unified inbox. Okay, so this specific feature is called a CRM or customer relationship management tool. And the great thing about this is literally there is no setup involved. So basically what it is, is a place for a business owner, like for your business or any other business, whoever you're working with, to store all of their contacts in their database, right? Be able to go through and manage them. So these are just some bonus or not bonus, um, <laughs> some test contacts just to show you guys, for example here. Um, on an older account. Basically, it's got their name, their phone number, their email address, when they were created, last activity, um, tags, and then if we click into these, like let's click into this one right here. Um, we can go through and add more information. So if you got like, you know, birthday, general information, business name, address. Um, so you can see how valuable this is if you're going through and managing um, a specific contact add tags, so like, okay, this person came in, let's say you're working with Dennis for a teeth whitening or teeth cleaning or whatever it might be. Um, you could see the activity on all the different web pages. You can create tasks, add notes, appointments. And so there's a lot of things that you can do over here. Um, and then this is where you could actually communicate with that specific contact. Um, so SMS or email, and this is obviously just a bogus contact information. So it's not actually gonna work and be legit, but um, you can see how this is, um, how can this be very beneficial? And the great thing is it's already built into the software. So it's just this contacts tab. It'll list out all the different contacts uh, for that business owner. Oh, sorry, hit something weird. Um, have all the different contacts. You can go through um, in bulk, add tags, remove tags, delete contacts, import, export the contacts, um, send emails to them, send texts and roll them into some type of campaign workflow, which a campaign or workflow is basically an automated follow-up sequence um, that you know drips emails on them or whatever it might be. And then you've got all the different filters over here that you can go through and search through all the contacts. So um, anyway, uh, pretty, pretty standard um, in a lot of businesses. Most businesses will have some sort of CRM. So this is just nice little additional bonus that you're able to add and offer. Um, without having to do really any setup because it's already pre-built into the software. And then they're able to go through and manage all these contacts from the mobile app on their mobile phone, which is obviously, depending on the business that you're working with, if it's like, let's say a plumber, electrician, or real estate agent that's out and about on the go and doing appointments, that's extremely valuable to them as well to be able to have not only contacts and CRM on their desktop, but also on the mobile app to be able to update everything and connect and stay in touch with all their contacts on the go. So anyway, just wanted to kind of give a quick rundown of the CRM, what that is, how it can be useful, and I'll see you in the next video.
A quick shout out to our sponsor, LaunchMySoftware.com. You can sell custom AI software to small business owners who already want to buy, and you can keep 100% of the profits. Go to LaunchMySoftware.com right now to learn more and start your extended 30-day free trial. Okay, so this is a really cool, powerful feature. Um, it's called Conversation AI. And right now, at the time of recording this, my account, this is actually my like live account that I run my entire business, is one of like five sub accounts that has access to this is in beta. Um, I'm actually meeting with the team like weekly, helping them actually build out this feature right here and giving feedback and actually using it. Um, and so I wanna show you guys, by the time you're watching this, it's probably already gonna be inside of your account and that you can use not only for your own business, but also for all of your clients and be able to set them up with this as well. So this is really cool. Basically what it is, is if somebody messages in um, to your business or your client's business, like reaches out via Facebook Messenger or Google My Business Chat or Instagram Messenger or they text the business or the web chat widget, AI will actually go through and see the intent of the question and be able to follow up and respond with that potential prospect. And then um, ultimately what it's doing is it's sending them to a calendar to be able to book an appointment on a calendar for whether it's your business, your agency, or for your client, let's say they're a dentist or whoever it might be, right? So in order to set this up, what we do is we come down here to settings. It's very easy. So come over here to conversation AI. You see this is for this demo, I just have it off. And right now, um, in all the accounts, there's off or suggestive. So this auto reply, this is like one that, like I have one of the few accounts that actually has this. So basically what suggestive is, is as you're going through and somebody reaches out, when you're in the conversations tab, which I'm not gonna go in the conversations tab because it's like I have actual real live conversations in there going on right now. Um, it'll pop up suggestions of how to respond to that potential client based on their questions, right? So it just kind of simplifies it all for whether it's you or your support person and how that all works. Now, this auto reply, what we can do is we can support this channel with the supported channels SMS or Instagram, GMB or Facebook. So if someone reaches out on any of these channels, we can have AI automatically follow up with this person. And then what we do ultimately is we pick a calendar that we want the AI to book an appointment with. Um, so for example, for you, if you're using this for your business, and unfortunately I can't use this, show this inside the demo account that shows like, hey, set up with the demo calendar because it's it's I've only got the beta access right here on this account. But basically you would come over here and choose the um, the uh, the demo uh, the demo calendar, right? So this is the AI SaaS business strategy con consultation. This is the one that we're booking appointments on. And then I want to show I want to share with you guys a few things that are coming in the near future. They're not out right now to be able to show you guys this, um, but it's coming and it's going to be super powerful. And by the time you're watching this, it's probably already going to be out, which is going to be really cool. So a couple things here. Um, and these are some of the things that I'm working with Go High Level on, kind of like some of these different use cases. So first of all, this conversation flow, what you can do is it says the AI bot will ask the below information before sharing the booking link to the contact. So you can ask specific questions that if you want to pull in information before even going through and booking um, an appointment on, before sending out this calendar link, you can go through and have like specific questions that you're going through and asking, right? That's true for your business or your client's business. So like this works super well both ways. And then it says include FAQs to train the bot to handle missing information to a question. So you can add a Q&A. And so like typical, you know, frequently asked questions, if you're always getting the same questions, here's the answer, here's how to resolve that, which is super cool because if you've ever worked in support before, like typically most people are asking one of the same like five questions. And so if you're able to train AI on these questions, then it's like it, it delivers the right message at the right time. And so that's amazing for you Then also all of your clients' businesses. Now, these things are live right now. What's coming down the road is we'll actually be able to um, put in a link to your website or your client's website and it will, an AI before responding will be able to scan. It's basically, it's gonna use the website, all the information on the website as its knowledge base, okay? And then even on top of that, if you wanted to give more additional information to AI to use in this knowledge base, you could create a Google Doc 
and um, for your business or your client's business and put all the information on the Google Doc that you want AI to be trained on and then put a URL to that Google Doc. Um, so that's gonna be a different tab here. And then AI is responding to the person messaging out from one of these different platforms is gonna use the information on that Google Doc to be able to respond before delivering this um, calendar link right here, okay? And I'm also working with them on getting in here where it's like it's not just gonna, like the core, the core use case is gonna be to book appointment on a calendar, but we also wanna be able to like go through and send maybe like it's, it's a specific website you wanna send people to um, even before they book, book in a link on a calendar. And then up here, they're adding here probably within the next week where it's like kind of a trial. So like you can go through and test this and, and see like, you know, hey, you're, you're a potential client, you're asking questions and just see how the bot works to test it out before you actually put it into live action, all right? So anyway, guys, just a quick recap on how to set this up. Once again, like I, I like to focus on simple services that like take just a few minutes to set up but provide tremendous value. And so I hope you can see the tremendous value that this would bring because whether someone's reaching out Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, Google My Business Chat, um, web chat, or even if they text, you can have like on websites, on your clients like website, text the local phone number that you set up for them. And when they text that phone number and like with whatever question, the conversation AI is gonna be able to take over as well. Okay, so it's just down here, settings, conversation AI, and then, you know, if you wanna do suggestive or auto, I like auto reply, and then you just set it up to what channels you wanna go through and set it up on. Pick the calendar that you wanna go through and set it up on, which for your business, it's going to be the, um, the demo because you're wanting to do go through and set people up like this is people reaching out curious about your business so it's going to be the demo calendar and then you'll be able to add like conversation flow if there's frequently asked questions and then eventually upload the website as well so anyway super cool stuff um go check this out go start playing around with it for your business once this is all active and ready to go and uh with that said i'll see you in the next video video is how to set up the calendars and this is kind of the main master snapshot. And so if you come over here, click on calendars, I've already got the um, core calendars, We've got the schedule a demo and account setup call. And so what you do to do that is just click on create a calendar and you could do a simple calendar, basically just like scheduling with one person around Robin, class booking contacts can schedule a meeting with a single person on your team. Um, and then I think that's maybe like a, a several people can schedule with one person. Then collective booking is schedule meetings with multiple team members simultaneously, ideal for sales calls, technical support. Um, this one I know was just released. So I'm not 100% sure the use case on this, but mainly the, the ones we'll probably be using is Simple Calendar. So like if it's just like you taking all the account setup calls or the schedule of demo calls, um, like it's just like a one person show at, at the beginning. And then the other one that I typically use is a round robin. So like if we're doing sales calls, I've got like three sales guys. And so we're doing a round robin between all the sales guys. That's what we want to set up. Or even account setup calls. It's like we've got a few account setup reps. So we want to go through and um, switch between them. So you just like select this and give it a calendar name, select the team members, click all the team members, um, which uh, just to show you guys really quick. So we're not leaving you in the dark here. To add team members, you wanna come over here to my staff and then you just add an employee. And so you can put in their name, email, phone number, set up a password that they can log in with stuff. And then um, you would, you know, you could select also from here what calendar you wanna be a part of. And then the permissions, you can say like, this is not like your, your master account, right? So like if you're bringing on a salesperson or account rep, do you want them to have access to all the data or not? Kind of just depends. And then um, the user roles, you can have a user and admin. Uh, usually a user is just fine. And then I usually don't mess a lot with that or that. And um, honestly, not even that as well. So basically it's just user roles, what you want them to be able to access. And then this core part up here of the information. So then once you have that, coming back over here to the calendars, you just create a calendar say round robin, select the team members. You can give it a you know a little, this is called the slug, what you want the end URL to be, which a lot of times this doesn't matter because you're gonna be like, it's gonna be like hyperlinked out of somewhere so the URL doesn't really matter. 
and then you just give the, the availability, right? Say what days you're available or your team's available, the times. And the cool thing is, is inside of like the staff, when someone comes in and sets it up, like what my sales guys, when they go through and set it up, they can cho choose what days of the week and what time of day that they're available. Because I have a few guys that are not full time, so they can choose what time they're available. And so then like the calendar as a whole is going to update and um, adapt to that. And then if you come over here to, oh, it's making me fill that all out. Basically, you just hit confirm and it would go through and just kind of like take you through the, a simple workflow or the simple flow of getting this set up. Um, so for schedule a demo, I just want to show you guys this. So this is where you would grab like the, the link um, to this, this demo page or this demo calendar, um, be able to embed the code or whatever. And this also, when we come into conversation AI, this is where you'd want to select schedule a demo, right? For, at least for your business. So if you're setting this up for a client, like the, the calendar and setup of all that stuff, you'd want to go in, um, cause they probably have a brand new account. That's not like, um, that doesn't have a calendar already pre-built in like the snapshot you have. So you want to create a simple calendar and then you would then go and add that right here for the conversation AI. Okay. And in a later video, um, I'll talk about like the, the conversation AI, how this whole works, and this will make a lot more sense. I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of getting my ahead of myself right here, but I wanted to show you how this all kind of works in together. But if we come over here, we've got the, for your own business, scheduling a demo, we would hit edit, and then you can go through and throw in a logo, description, um, which group, you give it a, a name, the meeting location, right? You can connect Zoom in here, and then you've got your availability, um, available type, standard, custom. Is it a recurring meeting? How long is the meeting? So you just, like, this is all pretty self-explanatory. There's a lot of different calendaring softwares, and this honestly follows the format that a lot of these calendar um, calendaring systems work. So it's not too difficult. Um, so I set up your external account. Let me just check out what this is. Uh, this might be if you're setting it up, connecting it in with, uh, Google, um, your Google calendar or something like that. Anyway, so go ahead, um, play around with this. The reason why you want to set this up mainly is for your own business with getting these, uh, calendars of scheduling a demo or account setup call, which I've already set these up for you. And so all you'd want to do is just adjust like the times that you're available or like assign specific users of like your account reps versus your sales reps. Or if you're doing both, that kind of depends on um, how you're going through and using those. And then um, I'll show you guys in a later video how we're setting this up with conversation AI, having AI go and automatically book appointments. But then when it comes to setting this up for a client, you just have to like talk with your client. If it's a real estate agent, okay, like we're doing like a real estate consultation. If it's a dentist, how would you like to set up appointments? Who do you want taking those calls? Who should we assign those calls? A you know chiropractor, whoever it might be, mortgage loan officer. And so that's where I'm like, I'm, I I can't go into like specific details because every every single industry is going to be slightly different. But then it's just like talking with them and seeing like, okay, what are we going to call this? Really knowing your cli ideal client avatar what type of appointment they'd be setting up, how long is the meeting, is it gonna be 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, what's typical, what's standard, and and that's just um, pretty much how you're gonna go through and set all these up. So it's honestly pretty straightforward, and you can see all the tabs up here. Anyway, so I just wanna give you a quick rundown of this. If you have any questions, obviously reach out to High Level Support if it's like specific to the technology, if it's, it's specific to like how to use this and strategy, post into the community members area or reach out to our support team jump on the next coaching call. We'll be happy to go through and walk you through like the best use case or how to go through and set this up or the best practices to help you get going. So anyway, um, go knock that out and I'll see you in the next video. Real quick, if you want to start your own digital agency and get all of my courses, weekly coaching, snapshots, and templates, I'm giving it all away for free. No upsells, no paywalls, nothing. All you have to do is go to launchmysoftware.com and sign up for high level with my affiliate link and you'll get free access to everything that I offer. And although I can't guarantee your success or results, this is literally the same course that hundreds of others have gone through to make their first dollar online. And inside this program, I'll show you how to get your first clients, how to fulfill for those clients, and I'll give you a professionally designed website 
that all you have to do is swap in and out your logo. You'll also get three of my proven sales funnel templates that have helped me grow my own business to thousands of clients paying me every single month. I'll even talk to you weekly on Zoom so you can ask me questions directly to help you succeed. So if you want all this for free, just go to launchmysoftware.com and sign up for high level with my affiliate link and you'll get free access to everything that I offer.